So here we have the latest jailbreak for the Analog Super NT version 6.5. What I wanted to do was just go through some of the issues people have had with um, game saves. In the original jailbreak, it was uh, advertised that you could do game saves uh, by hitting select and down, basically taking you to the ROM menu. But many people discovered right away that either it would only save once or you would get to a point where your save game was corrupted and, and you weren't saving anything at all. So the latest version sought to fix that, and for the most part they did. I'm gonna demo this in Adventure Island 2. So you can see I have a save game here. I have a fist as my weapon, um, but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go get a sword, and then I'm gonna create some save games, and I'm gonna load it and, and, and kind of show you um, how to break your saving ability uh, and by showing you that, you'll also know how to, well, not break it. And by the way, if you haven't ever played this game, it, it's actually um, quite a bit of fun. Alright, so in this chest here is my sword. I will go ahead and get that. Um, this is one of those types of games where you can pretty much save anywhere. Uh, it doesn't save your state per se, but what it'll do is any progress you've made in terms of life or weapons, it'll save that there and you'll be able to start back at the beginning of the level uh, with those hearts and with that sword that you've um, collected. So let's do that now. And then I'm just gonna die um, and uh, uh, end this game and I'll restart just to show that, yes, I've started the stage with my sword. And as you can see, I have got my sword. So my progress was saved uh, in game. Um, I have yet to save it to um, the actual SD card. So I'm gonna do that now. Now you'll notice you get this Y save RAM and B cancel. This is new in this jailbreak before you didn't get any sort of indication. So now you have the ability to uh, see a heads up indicator that yes, you are actually going to save your SRAM uh, to the SD card. Uh, and now I'm gonna power off the unit, power back on, go back to my game and uh, show you that I do in fact have my sword. There you can see, I've got my sword, uh, which is all well and good in the last version of the firmware that worked just fine, right? The first save would always work. Now what breaks it is if you leave the menu, the SD menu, and you go back to the main NT menu, you can no longer, you'll no longer get the prompt to save SRAM. Therefore, you will never save your save game after leaving the SD card menu. So as you can see, I can just keep saving SRAM uh, as long as I want, as long as I don't leave this SD card menu. Now I'm gonna leave the menu. I'm gonna get back to the beginning. Um, I can play, but as soon as I go back to the browse SD card, you can't see me pressing select, but I am pressing select and I can't go back to the game. So the game at this point is bricked. Um, you can't play the game, obviously you can't save it. The only thing you can do is choose the same ROM or a different ROM, but of course you've lost all your progress at this point. Uh, so what uh, I'm trying to tell you is don't leave the SD card menu directory and you'll be fine, you'll be able to save. If you're playing Final Fantasy V and you've gotten really far and you've forgotten everything I told you and you went back to the main SD card menu, uh, that sucks, so don't do that. I'm sure they will fix that in the next jailbreak version, uh, but for now, uh, this version of the jailbreak and saving your games is a lot better than the previous version, so kudos to them for that.